Welcome back, everybody, to more Tomb Raider 3. I'm Badass Games, and today I'm going to finish off the London levels, so that way we can go on into the Nevada levels. Sorry, I can't cast another vote, but um, there is only one stage left, so or one area left, and that's Nevada. And then from there, we go on to Antarctica. This one's called City, and in this one, we have to fight a boss, so it's therefore a very short level. There's only one secret, and we are going to see just how to get through this without using a med pack. It's very tough. Uh, you just gotta basically. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically give you a rundown of what I'm gonna do when I get out here. Okay, there are some drops and there's there's a secret that I'm that I'm gonna get later on. But for now, I actually I'm just gonna run straight to the top of this thing as quickly as I possibly can. And there's a reason for that. It's because when you're moving, and uh, you're forcing Sophia to move with you, and while she's moving, she cannot fire her weapons, okay? And there's also another big key point here. She fires two types of attacks. She fires the small missiles, and she fires a large missile. And if you get hit by the large missile, then you're going to take a lot of damage. And so the idea here is to go ahead and... Um, Minimize your damage by avoiding the large missiles. The the small missiles don't do very much damage. So, um, and that's what I'm gonna do. And then after I defeat Sophia, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pick up everything that I missed. Okay, so let's get started. First thing that we wanna do is we wanna run out here. And uh, the first thing she's gonna do is fire a large attack. She's, she's charging it up right now, and she's gonna shoot it. Okay, now that she's shot that, we can go ahead and come out here and. Uh, just take the attacks from the small ones. I mean, they do they do, do damage, but it's not a whole lot. And now we want to walk to this edge. She's going to get up there, and she's going to hop up there, and she might fire a big one. Oh, she's going to fire a big one. She might fire small ones, but we want to wait for that one. And then as soon as she gets ready to fire that, do a running jump, and you'll avoid the damage from that. All right, so we're going to get hit by a few, a few more small ones. Let's hop up here. And now let's run across this thing right here. Now notice she's not... She's not firing at me because she's moving. She's trying to catch up to me. Now, she's going to fire another large shot, and we want to wait here for that. And as soon as she gets ready to fire that, start running. You can jump if you uh, feel safe. And now, uh, let's hop up here. Now, she's moving again, so as you can see, I'm not taking any damage. So, this is exactly what we want. Let's hop up here now, and we want to go all the way to the end here. There's a uh, climbable wall here that we want to jump and grab. We want to climb up to the top while she is uh, making her way. And then we get a little crouch thing. Just go ahead and crouch through here. And turn around. And now she's going to do one final charge shot on you as soon as you get um, as soon as you get up to here. She might actually wait for it. Yeah, she's going to do it right now. So as soon as she gets ready to fire that thing, Run and jump. Oh, I think I just... Yeah, well, I messed that up, but I didn't get hit by it, so I'm thankful. Okay, so, uh... Oh, no, I want to hit this, uh... Electrical panel. As soon as I shoot that, she dies. And, uh, I should mention about the last part there. Uh, before, um... She... Sometimes she doesn't fire that charged shot, and what I'll do is I'll actually dangle here. Or actually, I'll run and jump, and I'll... Now I won't dangle here. I'll actually hurry up and I'll pull myself up and by the time I get to here she'll fire it and I'll just jump over here and I'll avoid the damage. So that's another thing that you can do in order to avoid that last charge shot. And there she is. She's dead and I haven't used the med pack and I got about half my life still. Alright, now let's go back and let's get these items that I missed and the secret before we actually go pick up that artifact. So right here there's a small med pack. And since there's really not much else to talk about during this period, I'll go ahead and start talking about those comments that I got. Alright, so I got one here. Whoa! No! No! Alright. I'll have to uh, redo that. I'll see you guys back up there. Let's see if I can uh, take less damage this time. I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye. Okay guys, on my second time through here, she actually did something um, that she sometimes does. And she sometimes climbs already up to that platform. And what you gotta do when she does this is just take the damage from those small blasts and wait for that large one. And then as soon as she fires that large one, do the running jump. Unfortunately, that's how you have to do that in order to do this without using the med pack. So, 
Uh, I'll see you guys up there at the top, though. Okay, guys, I'm back here at the top, and I'm actually going to do this, uh, do this jump as fast as I can. This is how I normally would do it. She's charging up her shot right now. You just got to run from it. That's basically how you get through that. Okay, and then you shoot this thing. Hopefully she hits it. And uh, I took a lot more damage that time because I had to wait. But I still didn't use a med pack. So that's how you do that. Okay, so let's get back down here in a more safe manner without uh, accidentally falling to your death. Alright, so there's actually a small med pack here too, and uh, yeah, so about that comment, I got one from 320Lana, and she says, Hey Badass Games, ever wonder who the curators are that, of that museum that let med packs, flares, and rockets lie around artifacts? What about monkey bars, ladders, and movable blocks? And it's so true. Um, there's so much stuff in this game that they just have lying around just randomly, like, you know, um, guns in the middle of... Uh, St. Francis Folly, like, it's supposed to be thousands of year old, years old, and she commented on that, too, and <laughs> so interesting, like, uh, I guess that's how they had to uh, design the game, though. So over there on that uh, platform, there's a small med pack, and over here there's a large one. Now I gotta get down over here. Ooh, I almost fell. No, I think I just... Okay. That would have been... No, that would have been fine. I think I would have fell here. Okay. So, uh, over here is the, f the first secret. First and only secret. So, uh, let's get that. What we want to do is we want to fall off backwards and grab the ledge and then shimmy over. And then let go and pull yourself up here. And now let's turn around and back up. To fall down into the first secret. And this secret consists of... A rocket and a large med pack. So yeah, don't forget to grab those and then make your way to the top. And now that we have all that, I believe I did. I pit, I think I missed something, but I, I'll come by it again if I did. And um, yeah, I also got another comment from Jade Tokier. This person said. I'm so uh, glad my house isn't built like Tomb Raider level. I have to turn on the bedroom light upstairs to flush my toilet downstairs. And that's so true. Like, so much randomness is uh, built into these places. I mean, like, look at this. Like, Sophia, what the heck? Is this what she normally does in order to get to her helicopter? <laughs> like, what the heck? Oh, man. And uh, I'd also like to comment on my... Uh, current situation I'm taking summer classes and what that means is uh, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time working on my homework instead of Tomb Raider I think I missed the small med pack there yeah I did okay so yeah expect the, the videos to actually come a lot slower than they have been because I'm gonna be you know spending my time on my work instead of spending time on making these videos and these videos do take up a lot of time and, and if you read some of my comments um, somebody commented that, uh, wondering how I know everything, how many times I have to play the level and before I have to know, before I know everything about the level. And the thing is, is I actually play the level a few times before I actually record it. I don't actually go off this stuff by memory from when I played it before, you know. So I, uh, it takes a lot of my time to make these videos. So expect, that, like I said, expect them to come a little bit slower than usual. And um, I'm sorry about that, but it's just how it has to be. Okay, um, but I'm definitely going to still post some even during my school. Now, the artifact is there on this platform, but it's electrified. And if you jump on there, you'll just kill yourself just like you did Sophia. So we got to get over there carefully and turn off the um, electricity. And we want to aim ourselves for that lower platform there just, be just before or just after the that slope there. Do a running jump on over to there. Do not land on the uh, electrified thing, though. Pull yourself up, and the switch is on the other side of this block right here. So as soon as you flush your toilet, the uh, electricity will actually turn off. And you're able to pick up the artifact to end the level. So let's do that. And there you guys have it. That is City. I uh, only found one of one secret, and I didn't use a health pack. And 
I will see you guys in Nevada. I'm Badass Games, and you guys are watching Tomb Raider 3. Take it easy, guys.